Hi, everybody. This is Marcia Lopez from Women's True Healing. And I wanted to wish you a happy autumnal equinox. I am here in my cozy sweater and I'm wearing my Long Beach City Triathlon t-shirt. I am so happy that it's over. I'm happy that I did it and glad it's done. <laughs> so I wanted to share some thoughts about the autumnal equinox, uh, the descent of the fall and womb healing. So the autumnal equinox is definitely the halfway point from the summer solstice to the winter solstice. The summer solstice is basically the climb of the sun from the winter solstice to the peak of its position in the sun, in the sky, the peak of the sun's position in the sky. It allows for the most light, the most abundant, abundant light and the most wonderful, um, joyous movement, dynamic sunlight and, and um, energy. Heat tends to move molecules and makes molecules move faster. So heat brings about dynamic movement and motion and the sun and the summer solstice definitely exemplify that. From the summer solstice onward, though, the sun begins to make its way down in the sky, leading up to the autumnal equinox. This is the halfway point. So from, this is the halfway point from the sun going all the way down into the sky towards the winter solstice, the winter solstice being the darkest night of the year. So this period of time from the fall to the winter is technically the darkest time of the year in the, in the Northern Hemisphere. And now this is wonderful. This is auspicious and wonderful for womb healing because this dark time gives us an opportunity to begin introspection that is necessary for deeper levels of healing for those of us that need it. This slowing down, the energy is no longer so heated. The molecules aren't moving so fast in our inner environment and in our outer environment. And it's allowing for this slowing down, this coziness of wrapping ourselves up in sweaters, of retreating into caves. It can definitely be a hard time for some because depending on their level of social engagement and involvement, you can probably become more secluded. But with a brave heart and with a courageous spirit, you can definitely use this time to go deeper into yourself. Now, the uterus um, for women holds a lot of emotions. And for those of us who are dealing with uterine dysfunction, reproductive dysfunction of any kind, Understanding the emotions and the energetics that are going on in our uterus is vital for the healing process. And I would like you to, to consider your uterus in the same way that, that we as a culture, as a human culture, and as a human society think about our hearts. Now, our hearts are they're, they're an organ. It's a muscle organ that works with pumping blood throughout our body. But the heart has a lot of cultural significance in how we talk about it and how we um, connect to each other via our hearts uh, or how we define other people like that person is big hearted or I have you in my heart or my heart is with you or you take a little piece of my heart with you like the Janice Joplin song. Uh, so the heart is is very much a definer of our personality characteristics of the characteristics characteristics of our personality the uterus does the very same thing as the heart the uterus can definitely define our characteristics can definitely define our personality but in a much more subconscious way because we have not been conditioned to think about our uterus because we have not been conditioned to pl place such personal significance to the uterus we don't really understand how she's impacting our personality so she does work in a very subconscious way and so now this time of the fall the descent of the fall into winter um, 
is a great time to actually begin going into our subconscious. Yes, it's cold outside. Yes, it's getting darker. But this is a perfect time to begin to go and explore the recesses of our subconscious being and how it's encapsulated by our womb, by our uterus. For those of us who are dealing with uterine issues or who are wanting to have some kind of goal with their reproductive health, this is so important. And I'm just repeating it again. This is so vital. This is a foundational part of holistic, of uterine healing, of holistic reproductive healing. It's so important to understand the energetics of the womb and how easily we can define the energetics of our heart, how easily we can feel pain, how easily we can feel elation and joy in our heart. We can feel that in our womb with ease as we begin to do it. And so this time is perfect for it. The fall, the descent into the winter, the descent into the darkest time of the year. And don't be scared because when the darkest time of the year comes, the winter solstice, what happens that very next day is that the sun begins to climb up again. So the sun climbs up, 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 and it hits the midway point to the spring. Everything starts to wake up. And it climbs up, 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 up to the winter solstice, and then it goes back down. And so we are cyclical. We are biodynamic creatures. We respond to the seasons very naturally, very with, um, very naturally. And we, we're uninhibited. Our, our central nervous system, our subconscious, it's going to respond to the seasons, to the biodynamic cycles. If we let it, we can resist it. And then a lot of things come up when we're resisting the biodynamics or resisting the, the cyclical natural cycles of this planet. A lot of issues can come up with that. But if we ease into it, if we allow these cyclical changes to influence us, we can use it for our well-being. We can use it for our deeper levels of healing and, and I wanted to take the time out to make this video because it's that important every year. Like I tend to miss saying that, you know, I, I say it once winter solstice hits, but it's, yeah, it's already like the darkest time came and now we're about to head into the light, but it's got to be said right now at the autumnal equinox because now it begins. This is this half from the summer to the winter, this, this la later half is what's, what begins the portal, that liminal space, that opening. We have now opened that dark passage into the winter solstice, which allows us, allows us to open the dark passage into our subconscious. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's something to be embraced. You wear your cozy sweater, wear a t-shirt that makes you happy, um, bring your crystals out, bring your candles out, your incense, your sage, take your hot baths, journal, drink your teas that are nourishing for you and comforting. Surround yourself with people that are on the same journey with you. And if you do not have people that are on this journey with you, then surround yourself with your love, with your own self love. This is the perfect time. This descent, this fall, I love it. I love it. It's a perfect time to embark on deeper levels of womb healing. And for those of us who feel we don't need it, we can always use another excuse to just cozy up and go deeper within ourselves to become better versions of who we are. So happy autumnal equinox. Many blessings on the opening of this liminal space. I love that word, liminal uh, it's so beautiful. It's just this opening, this, this passage that is opening up for us. And for those of you on womb healing journeys, many, many blessings. Have much courage. Do this with bravery. Do this with, with coziness, with love for yourself. Wrap yourself up in your courage and in your self-love, in wanting to explore these, these deeper aspects of your subconscious. The womb is dark. The earth is also dark. It's where seeds get planted and it's where seeds can grow. And it's the same for the womb. And for those of you who do not have your womb, that space, that energy is still there. And all that your womb went through can easily be explored at this time as well. So sending you so much love, so many autumnal equinox blessings. Light your candles, hold your crystals and hold yourselves and hold each other. Talk soon. Much love. Bye-bye.